Welcome back again with Chef Ricardo cooking program back in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen. Requesting one more time again, as I said before, to anyone, no matter if I have it on the net, on the YouTube channel. If I did it before, I will do it again. Yes, and tell me what happened. Calm beef. One more time on the menu. Look at that beautiful calm beef, guys. Right here. Requested one more time again. There is someone from China request this calm beef recipe from Chef Ricardo. Said, Can you make back that calm beef recipe one more time again, Chef Ricardo, with some twist pasta? And I said, Yes, I will definitely make it. Guys, I'm just gonna make it clear, forward, straight, and plain. As you can see, earlier yesterday, I did a couple days, I went, I did that recipe with tuna. Right here, I have red pepper, green pepper, spring onion, white onion, Guinea pepper, and a Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper. That's a hot pepper. You can use the hot pepper sauce if you do like. I got some cherry tomato right here, or they call it plum tomato. One can of corned beef. This is 500 grams of corned beef. Ketchup, olive oil, and we have also a little bit of peppers which we're gonna use inside of it guys hopefully you will enjoy this wonderful recipe we're requesting one more time again on the menu guys may I tell you this person is from China and they request the recipe I don't know what they wanted to do probably they wanted to use it into a function or something but hopefully you guys will enjoy the recipe and subscribe Chef Ricardo cooking program thank you very much for watching my cooking program right over here we have the pot which we're gonna also Fry out all of the veg inside of it. Again, requested corned beef. Fry up with some vegetable. And I want to tell you that's the key point. Is the veg is the key point when you're doing this kind of uh, stuff, guys. Requested one more time again from China. Fry up corned beef and tuna, guys. I get the message and I'm delivering one more time again. This recipe is from Chef Ricardo. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Nice one. So as I said, the corned beef right here and the veg, we have everything ready, prepared, all of the ingredients. So guys, as I said, it's a requested one more time again. I know I might have it on the YouTube channel, but guys, I'm saying to you, if anything you need, just request it and I will definitely make it. Because I know I have color one they made on the, on the YouTube channel, but sometimes, you know, they don't squirt on inside of the video because every day I've been doing video. You know what I mean? Every day I cook and every day I do video. So guys, I'm gonna make that even that kalalu recipe one more time again to make everyone happy and you know what I mean everyone has enjoyed the recipe and if you wanna share something with Chef Ricardo I'm definitely up to him. So guys hopefully you will enjoy the recipe. It's a requested and I'm definitely gonna do it. Then I get it and I'm deciding to myself I will definitely make it one more time again. No matter what recipe I have on the YouTube channel, if you wanna request something guys, request it and I will make it. Enjoy the recipe today from Chef Ricardo. Lovely and nice. So, so the pot is on the stove, ready, ready, warm. Basically, what I'm going to simply do, basically, I'm going to put two tablespoons of vegetable oil inside of it, or you can use olive oil. Whatever oil you like to use to cook with, will make you feel happy with, you can always do it. As I always say in my video, guys, you can use whatever you like. You know, I love to use my olive oil or my vegetable oil. Then, next thing, because this is already warm i have it on the fire about three to four minutes so it's a little bit hot but careful of when you put in your stuff because you don't want to get burned first of all i like to put pepper inside of my pot to get a little flavor just like this so now at the moment as you can see the hide is getting really hot be careful because you don't want to get burned and i always say to myself i don't want my fandom to get burned take a little time and pour everything down inside of it just like this nice one beautiful so as you can see it's a lot of veg the reason why I use so much veg inside of my corned beef or anything I'm making because this is veg is healthy you know what I mean and I like to use peppers, spring onion, white onion and all those things. Garlic, thyme because these things just works really well. And also I'm going to put one half cups of sweet corn also inside of it. Enjoy the recipe. 
And what we're gonna basically gonna do now is just so take off this roughly about a nice 10 minutes, let they cook really properly because you don't wanna have them too chunky inside of your mouth. You wanna cook out with it. But that's when the corn beef cut it, it just bring in a nice flavor. So enjoy the recipe. I'm gonna put a little bit more heat on top of this. Right, so enjoy. So as you can see, this has been cooking for such a good almost 10 minutes now. Put half cups of sweet corn inside of it. Give it a stir. And a little bit of pepper. Then what I'm gonna basically gonna do with this combi, I'm gonna shake it out with some green banana. But I was saying to you guys before earlier, you can share it with pasta, you can share it with corn meal dumpling, you can share it with a lot of stuff. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share this up with some green banana. Because I did earlier I did put some green banana and then it's still nice. So I'm gonna share out some corn meal with green banana. And also you can have it with anything you do like. So right over here, I'm gonna do a simple crush up this corn beef and then we're gonna scrape it straight inside of it. So we're gonna put in that lovely corn beef. Nice one. Putting the corned beef. Some people say, oh, you're always putting ketchup you know, in the thing, but well, you want to food that tastes really nice, is it? So, let's put some ketchup in it. Uh, roughly two large spoon of ketchup. Just stir. Basically now turn on your stove a little bit now and leave it for it to cook for a nice good 10 minutes again at a medium size heat. Nice one. So as you can see, looking lovely and nice. I'll give it another few more minutes. As you can see, looking fantastic guys. The recipe is such a nice recipe. Now this is finished. I'm gonna share it out and make you guys see how this look really lovely and nice so hopefully you will enjoy the recipe and subscribe to youtube channel thank you very much for watching chef record a cooking program we have a lot more recipes coming up for you this one i'm gonna share it out with some green banana cooked green banana Mwah. nice recipe enjoy it nice one so right over here i have four fingers of green banana guys which i have i'm gonna just simply put some corn beef like this right here so Look at that guys, and put the Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper on top of it. Hopefully you will love the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. But as I said, I requested corned beef one more time as you can see guys. I just delivered it one more time again and as I said, the corned beef can go with anything. Yeah, tell you, you can make all that nice corned beef sandwich out of it. Like put some hard work bread or something. Guys, enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can go with pasta, you can go with rice and peas, you can go with so many different things. So enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Bye.